Biblia mchana wa leo ili maisha yetu yakaweze kubadilika. Guza maisha yetu mchana wa leo maana Bwana tumeweza kutambua ya kwamba wewe ndio Mungu na hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe. Roho wako mtakatifu ambaye anatawala mahala hapa wacha akabadilishe maisha yetu siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunakupenda, tunalinua jina lako, tunalitukuza maana wewe ndio Mungu na hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Roho wako mtakatifu akaweza kutawala. Bwana wacha e, ninaponena neno lako, wacha Bwana nisionekane, mbani uonekane. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, nimeomba na atakuamini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina naitwa Steven. Nimeokoka na mpenda Bwana. Uh, I'm a disciple of this church and I love Christ. Uh, Najua ni kitambo nilisimama hapa wengine wenu you are not ni zamani lakini na kwa upendo wa Bwana eh, my brother Kim na mam waliweza kuniambia kwamba no matter how much no matter how much No matter how much uh, No matter how much naweza kuwa nikisema nampenda Mungu uh, na sitaki kushare huyu Mungu ambaye nampenda na ndugu zangu. Uh, I'm very much privileged uh, because of mom because of uh, my brother Joseph Life ambao they've been encouraging me na kuniambia kwamba nothing is impossible so ningeomba eh nitaongea tu kwa ufupi na kwa uchache i'll try to be nitajaribu kuwa very short and brief uh, kwa ile ambayo nitakuwa nazungumzia bwana asifiwe leo nitawazungumzia about being in the presence of God kuwa mbele ya Mungu uh, most of the time sisi kama Christians we go in the presence of God wakati tuko na mahitaji wakati shida zimekuwa mingi wakati tumekaa ni kama mambo hayaendi sawa wakati huo ndio tunakuwa ni kama we are running in the presence of God. And, but God requires us. Mungu ana, anatuhitaji sisi tuwe mbele yake. Not just when we are in need. Sio wakati mambo iko magumu ama kuna uzito katika maisha. But we should always be in the presence of God kumtukuza, kutambua kwamba yeye ni Mungu katika maisha yetu, akaweze kutubadilisha. Uh, I don't think there's any situation ambayo Mungu hawezi kubadilisha. Iwe ni biashara inaenda chini, iwe ni kazi unapewa warning letter sama nini, God is always there to change a situation and make you come out a winner. Ningependa kuwapatia ushuhuda kidogo. Maisha yangu ni ushuhuda. Eh, Pastor Mama hapa anajua one time i didn't have a job wakati hiyo ndio hii ministry ilikuwa inaanza hapa nakuru i didn't have a job and nilikuwa kwa nikitoka nyumbani kukuja hapa ni kutembea kuteremka home ninaenda tena mkuu i could make sure lunch hour niko kanisani i could make sure when there is a kesha i'm there why because i knew this God that I'm seeking is bigger than the problem that I am going through. This God that I'm seeking, He'll change the situation in our home. So, I made it a, a, a routine. Nikuwe kwa nyumba hake, sasaba. I thank my brother Joseph Life. Uwa anasema, mungu alikuwa anashukia Adam na Eve. Sasaba, wanakuwa na fellowship. That is true. Wakati huu, 
I was walking with my brother yesterday. Nikamwambia, "Ebu sikia wakati huu tumetoka lunch na ndio chips imenukia." Eh? Ndio nyama inanuka, inanukia. Na wewe umeweza kujinyima, ukaingia kwa nyumba ya Mungu, ukaweza kutafuta uso wake. Sasa hii ndio watu wana make business deals kwa mahoteli kwa nyumba kubwa kubwa hapa nje sasa hii ndio business deals zinakuwa strike na sasa hii bado ndio shetani ameinuka kabisa sasa hii ndio maovu ile kubwa kubwa inapatikana hapa nje sasa hii ndio ukimwi iko hapo sasa hii ndio mambo mingi inafanyika sasa hii ndio mimba zinatolewa so eh, as i was coming to lunch hours every day maisha yangu ilianza kubadilika through mtumishi wa Mungu I got a job. Nikiwa bado kazini I was committed. Lakini Mungu ni waajabu. Once you are committed to his work, whenever you go you'll succeed. Mahali unaenda uta succeed. There'll be no failure. Failure will not be your portion. So, mali niliandikwa kazi, I was employed within one year. Hiyo mwaka yenye niliandikwa, the same year I was promoted. So following God always being in the presence of God Ningetoka Nairobi nikuje Nakuru the first place ningeingia ni church mom is my witness Not at home ni church nikuje tuongee kwanza na mtumishi ndio nirudi niende home it reached to a point after it became a bother to our family Nakumbuka mama yangu akiniambia wewe unatoka kazi unaenda kanisa hata ukuji kuniangalia kwanza wa unaendaka chachu unakaa huko hata utaki kukuja na for sure tukikaa hapo na mam kitu ya maana tutaongea tutaongea for only five minutes hiyo ingine tutaanza kusengenya anko tusengenya anti tusengenya nani unaona si afadhali niende kwa nyumba ya mungu nikae pale ni mulete hata ye baraka because nikibarikiwa hata ye hata furaia so ee First year I was promoted. The second year I was promoted again. Just serving the altar of God. You will never go astray. So ni ningependa kwa encourage. Coming in the house of God, your lives will never be the same again. And the moment tuko chini ya mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye anatuombea sisi, our lives are sure to be blessed. Maisha yetu itabarikiwa. Bwana asifiwe we will not be the same again so eh, watu walianza hata kuongea kazini huu kijana amekuja eh hata jamaliza mwaka ule mwenye unapelekwa kwake ukoe mkubwa wake ameishi hapo more than 20 years anakuja anakuona tena una train mwingine mzee so god will make you go to where people have been there na wao uta succeed Bwana asifiwe. Kama ni hapa nakuru watu wanasema biashara ni ngumu, biashara ni mbaya. Oh, wewe utakuja, utawakuta hapo na uta succeed. Bwana asifiwe. Just walking with God and making your ways straight with God. Mambo yako haitaenda kombo. Eh, nikiendelea kuwapea ushuhuda, I've told you my life is a testimony. Hata sasa hivi leo ninasimama hapa mbele yenu. By the time I was in that company by mwaka wa, wa tatu, no wanne nikaitwa HQ kuitwa HQ eh, sasa ilikuwa ni kwa mkubwa kabisa I was to become a manager I remember I came here nikaambia in fact tulikuwa na pastor kwa office nikapokea simu nilikuwa live eh when you flani flani eh, kuna kitu ulikuwa umeapply HQ now that is my branch manager kwa niambia Ambia hapana mimi hakuna kitu nilikuwa nimeapply hata kwanza si niko live sio unajua niko live hapana rudi kazi e, unaitwa HQ unaenda interview ya manager so nikaambia pastor pastor akaniambia hivyo ndio watu wakiwa ndani ya Mungu mambo yao huwa inae hivyo ndio mambo yao huwa inaenda unashtuliwa wakati hata utaraji unashtuliwa so nikaenda interview ya kwanza nikaenda interview ya pili but God had many reasons for me to see where he was taking me. Alinionyesha kwamba Steve hiyo manager ninaweza kupatia lakini sikupata. But I don't regret. I see 
eh, wakati huu nikikaa nijiangalie ninaona maybe Mungu ndiyo angenipatia yo manager si ndio ikiwa alinipea assistant supervisor akanipea supervisor within a year hiyo manager angenipatia and because he's faithful but pia inafaa tujue sisi kama wa Kristo shetani huwa halali he is always working schemes to make sure we are out of the way tumetoka katika njia za Mungu tumetoka katika to serve Mungu tumetoka nje um, i started facing many battles nikaanza kupatana na na mambo mambo hivi uh, to some point i even started asking pastor i why are things going the way they are going alambia steve wewe umetoka kwa njia za Mungu and it is only god who can help you you are trying to do things by your own means and you will not be you will not succeed can you go back to where you are so wakati huo kukakuja kukakuwa na issues kazini issues kazini issues kazini but i thank god in everything i've seen god um, kazini kukakuja kukakuwa kampuni iwezi iwezi nishikilia watu wa grade za juu wao oh, mara mnatolewa i was one of them ukatolewa lakini ninashukuru Mungu ya kwamba in everything mahali kila kitu inafanyika god is always ahead Mungu anakuaga amekutangulia 100 kilometers but ni wewe haujakaa chini umjue huyu Mungu na ujue mipango yenye yako nayo na maisha yako The moment you will know that I think our lives will be will be my will be full of success Ningependa kuongelea kitu inaitwa action na tusome in the book of James Book of James chapter 2 When you're in the presence